Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today's video is one that I have probably been asked to do the most and that is an updated saddle pad collection. Now I thought there's no better time to do it than now because number one I haven't done one for a good few years I don't think and also the new spring summer collection from Lumiere has just come out so I've been sent quite a few new pads so I thought I'd go through like all the different colours that kind of thing and then I thought oh my goodness Last time I counted, it was around the 90, 100 mark. So I felt like it's literally just gonna be me going across all the colors, saying all of them. And I thought, you know what? That's gonna be quite a boring video. So how about, first I'm gonna do a quick little count up to see how many saddle pads I actually have. Because when I go to meet and greets and things like that, that is a question I get asked all the time. I'm actually currently on a box because um, I'm not actually this tall. My saddle pads are just quite high up so I can actually reach them and talk about them. So I'm, I might have to move my little box along so I can go all the way over here to start counting. Let's go. One, two, three, four. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 50, 31, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. So I've got 67 along here. And then I have my little secret compartment down here where I have all like my GP pads and my dressage ones. 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98. Oh wait, no, 99. Sorry, I've got some like that are not here. They're, they're my like, competition pads that are dirty that need to go in the wash. They're just chilling on the side. So I've had a count around. I have 99 in my tack room right now and that includes, you know, the dirty ones that are on the side that you can't see that need to go in the wash. But I've just remembered, Lemieux messaged me the other day saying that, because um, obviously they have the new spring summer collection and that's in the Loire kind of pad, but they're sending me all three of the colours in the um, suede material. So that means I'm going to be up to 102 saddle pads. I knew I was going near the 100 level, but I didn't know I'd, I've pretty much actually surpassed it, which is absolutely ridiculous. Nobody should have that so many, many saddle pads. That is crazy. Also, you might be wondering why I have these saddle pads here in these bags. So Lumiere actually very kindly of the collection that I did with them, like the collaboration, they sent me the dressage pad and the CC pad, but they sent me a spare just in case the ones that we did take photos of got dirty and I needed to get more product shots, but I didn't need to do that and I've kept these in the bag. So I might have these as kind of decoration so I've got my new office when I move out well I've kind of moved out but not really basically once everything's finished with the cottage my loft is going to become the new office so I'm thinking I could hang these saddle pads up on the wall kind of as decoration as you know something cool so I've kept them in the bags to keep them clean but um, at the moment they don't really have a home they're just kind of chilling here on the side so there's 99 saddle pads, maybe 102 in the next few days. As I said before, me just going through all the colours, that's going to be a bit boring. Now there is actually this trend in the makeup world going on that I really enjoy and it's basically people explaining um, if they lost all their makeup or they had no makeup, what would be the products that would be on their buy list? So I thought I would do that, but if I lost all of my saddle pad collection, which ones would be my go-to first number one for me to pick or basically my top 10 favorite saddle pads now i've been thinking for a while do i include the boring ones now i say the boring ones i mean like obviously first one i'd probably have to go and buy would be a white competition pad because when i'm competing and things i'd want a nice clean one but then i'd also have to get that in dressage and in cc or jumping now that's getting a little bit boring and that's already two out of my 10 so i thought i'd do my top 10 colors because things i get asked most often is what is my favorite lumia color now it has changed quite a bit throughout the years depending on the season so i'm gonna have a rummage i'm gonna go through and hopefully i can dwindle it down to my top 10 which should be easy but for me this is gonna be quite a challenge Okay, where do I start? I'm thinking I'm gonna go for five, but kind of for each season, or not really each season. I feel like spring, summer is gonna be a combined as a season, and then autumn, winter. So ten, I tend to wear like lighter colors in the spring and darker colors in the autumn, winter. So, oh, this is tricky. I think I might do autumn, winter first, because I feel like that's gonna be easier, just because there aren't as many dark colors. 
purposely so tricky. I'm gonna think of what outfits I'd wear with these as well. Like the, the marine, I have a lot of outfits that would match and go with that really well. Okay, I'm gonna start just like randomly plucking ones, then I might have to put things back. Oh, but like, for example, I love like a berry color in the winter, but I can only pick one. Nobody has this many saddle pads though, so I need to keep reminding myself, nobody has this many. This is a lot trickier than I expected because obviously here, we have my first ever, ever saddle pad, which has actually held up really well. When did I buy this? I wanna say 2016, maybe it was even 2015. Um, but this is the blueberry. And then we have the bluebell, which is their new color or new from last year. Cool, that year has gone round quick and it's very similar. So it's like, which one do I go for? Do I go for the OG? Do I go for the new one? Do I go for it in the Loire? Or do I go for something totally different like the Benetton blue? Because that will probably go with more. Oh, this is, it's gonna be interesting to see what my final picks are at the end. Also, when I'm thinking of spring, summer, I obviously, I love my bright colors. I also love my pastel colors as well. Now for my bright colors, I often wear when I'm hacking and I wear those in the winter as well. So I'll probably get a lot more use out of them, but I just need to decide what bright color I'm going for. Cause obviously, you know, we have um, the paprika, that's really bright and that would go with my orange high vis, but it's not the exact same color. But I reckon that the, um, new kiwi would like match my high vis really well you know what i might grab my high vis and see what it looks like next to it you know what that's pretty similar and you've got to remember this high vis has probably never been washed and i've had it since i was eight like this is literally a child's high vis that's got like a rip in mickey actually chewed it once with some chew marks in it i should i should probably get a new like little high vis but i quite like it because when i wear it it doesn't like drown me out like some high vises can be really big like especially if you have like a proper builders kind of man one but this one it feels like i'm wearing like a little crop top kind of thing but look there we go that is where mickey chewed on it beautiful um it is very similar i'd say this is a little bit more pastel it's a little bit more toned turned down a little bit more greeny a little lighter but i do really like the binding on it but then would i wear the citron more because it's like a pastel yellow I like this is almost like a primrosey kind of color oh no i've got to decide between those two this is a all the lime the og lime i've finally decided on my top 10 saddle pads excluding you know the basics so like navy white black that kind of stuff the the colors the colorful ones okay so i'm gonna start off with the autumn winter because i feel like i was gonna say they're more boring i wouldn't say they're boring they're just kind of darker and not as bright so starting off one of my favorite autumn winter colors that i wear all the time on the boys is the oak i don't know what it is but i love autumn winter colors that are dark that almost look black like this is such an inky sort of green also it's a very like it just makes me think of the countryside this color makes me feel like i'm galloping along the countryside with my horses i don't know if anybody understands what i mean by this but i just feel like this is such a nature color and i love all things nature and outdoors so i had to go with the oak also i have a lot of matching stuff to go with this especially like outerwear clothes that kind of thing so i i just couldn't could not pick up this pad I was thinking, I was really having an iron for a little while between this and the Hunter Green, but I think the Hunter Green is just a little bit too similar to my Pony Club colours. And I didn't really have any green stuff for a while in my saddle pad collection just because I'd always feel like I wasn't wearing my home clothes. I'd feel like I was kind of wearing like my uniform, if that makes sense. So um so oak does have a special place in my heart. I just feel like this is the superior autumn winter colour. Next we have Fig, another darker colour. I feel like this is a colour where obviously it's a type of purple so purple is often known as quite a bright colour but because it is so muted it just I feel really professional when I'm riding in this I feel very smart as well and put together also I love this colour because it makes me think of all the berries on the hedges and it just feels very autumnal like this is the sort of colour that makes me excited about wearing winter fashion or autumn fashion um, so I had to go with the fig also Casper's colour is purple and again being on a grey I feel like this colour just looks really smart on him and really nice especially with brown tack I feel like it really makes it pop so had to add fig to my top 10. Next we've gone for another berry colour and this is the Rioja. As you can see this definitely deserves to be in my top 10 because it is quite well loved. This has never been washed before so I definitely need to put it in the washing machine. You can see kind of here Casper's dust and dander is stuck to it so um, this one does need to go in the washing machine. This colour as well because it's like a slightly darker colour it's a berry colour. I have a lot of 
winter fashion that would match with this that would go really well with this sort of burgundy i could couldn't not have a burgundy or a berry colored pad to go into my collection so Rioja was the one that I went for in the end. I was really umming and ahhing between all of them, but I just think this color would probably go with the most outfit choices I have. So there we go, Rioja. After that, I've gone for Marine. This pad just makes me think of riding the boys on the beach. It's a very kind of moody color. Um, it's also a color that goes with a lot of things. I feel like this sort of greeny blue has always had a place in my heart. And again, I have a lot of clothes that go with this. I think also a lot could go with this pad as well. Like a lot of neutrals would look really nice, but then if you wanted to go for something a little bit more toned down, but you wanted a pop of something, I feel like this would just look really pretty. And um, again, I was really struggling with what sort of blue to go for. I was re I really wanted to go for the blue bell. Yes, blue bell. I was, I'm gonna between blue bell and blueberry, but. I was thinking Bluebell, and then I was thinking Benetton Blue, and then I was thinking this, and between the three, I was having a bit of a crisis. Not really a crisis, it wasn't really that bad, but I, I was umming and ahhing between the three of them, and I thought, you know what? This is probably the pad that I would grab for the most, or I would go for the most, just because, I don't know why, I ju it just makes me happy. There are some colors, I don't know if anybody else is like this, but there are some colors I look at, and they just make me happy, so this one here, and I feel like also, when I was picking all the different like autumn winter colors or spring summer colors, I've kind of put them together in a stack and I'm like, what looks good? What like two colors seem a little bit too similar that I need to get rid of? So that was my process of elimination. And then lastly, this color I just had to go for. I don't know what it is, but every sort of October or every autumn, orange, like it's, it's not my favorite color in spring at all or anything like that, but as soon as autumn rolls around, Orange is one of my favorite colors. So I had to go for the Sienna here. I just think it's really pretty. I think also, um, oh yeah, I just thought I'd let you know, all of the pads are kind of different shapes and sizes. So this one here obviously is a dressage pad. We're gonna ignore the shapes of the pads and things because it, me only having like one dressage pad in my autumn winter kind of collection doesn't make sense. So we're just pretending they're all the same shape, but I feel like the Sienna also in the Loire, it just looks very smart. And again, on Joey, this would really pop, especially with his dapples, I think it would look really nice. And yeah, it just gets me in the kind of holiday spirit when October rolls around. It just makes me want to kind of drink a pumpkin spice latte and be very basic, but I just love autumn. It's a very lovely time of year um, because it's not, horribly muddy like winter, but then we, you don't have the flies and the heat like summer. Like autumn and spring, best seasons. So having a bit of orange, I had to add it to the wardrobe. Also, I feel like that sort of orange goes really nice with lots of browns and earthy tones. And I do have quite a lot of my riding wardrobe anyway, especially if we had some like brown breeches with that, that would look really nice. Okay, I thought actually, before I go on to spring summer, how about I show you the haulage, the, the, the stack. Let's try and get all these pads the right way around. So you can kind of see, this is my color palette for autumn winter. And I feel like they all go together really nicely. There isn't one pad. Actually, to be fair, I feel like the Rioja maybe is a little bit similar to these two, but I had to have a burgundy in there. And I feel like all together, they look very nice. Also, I wear navy a lot, so I feel like a lot of them would go quite nicely with navy too. So I'll pop those down there. Okay, now on to the other half. I was about to grab the whole stack then and give you like a spoiler of what they all look like. Um, which one should I go for first? I think I'm gonna have to go for the mint because this color, this was my favorite color for a good few years when I was like a teenager growing up because I don't know what it is, but at, when I was at school, I had this color mint in like a backpack, I had like my water bottle, my lunch box, my pencil case. It was all mint green. I went through a proper like mint green phase. I also took this pad with me when I did my like 24 hour challenge with Joey and when we went around the like, when we went around Hickstead and went in the water and things. Like I just, I feel like that's very like an iconic moment in my brain. And I just feel like this color mint on Joey looks really nice. Again, it makes me think of like a sunny beach in the summer and I feel like you could wear like a totally neutral outfit, like all black or all gray. Actually, this color goes really nice with gray too. And then just have like a pop of mint. I feel like that would just look so nice. And again, I love like a greeny blue and it's more of like a pastel color too. So I couldn't not pick mint. So 
that's why it's in the collection. This next one, I struggled with a little bit because this is the pad that I'm going to use as like my hacking pad that will go in my high vis and things. Now, I so badly wanted to go for the new Kiwi because it is so nice, but I think as wear goes, I would probably wear the Citroen just that little bit more. I feel like going cross country with Joey or something like that or hacking where I want to have something really bright, this just makes me think of sunny days. I prefer it just like that little bit more just because it's not as greeny and it's a little bit more like a pastel yellow and I think again like on Joey this has a lot of memories as well this colour um, especially like when I first got Joey and all the lockdowns kind of happened like I did a lot of hacking with him and this was the colour I wore the most especially when I first got Joey he was pretty much almost black so this colour looked so nice on him and then as his dapples have kind of come through um, he still looks very cute in this but I feel like this pad has been worn so much and I have like an emotional attachment to it that I feel like I just, Citroen had to be in there. It had to be in there. And as you can see, it's been washed so many times. The quality of it is still really good. You can see lots of little Joey hairs in there. There's like, I, I'm not gonna show you the inside of all of them, but um, this has been washed multiple times and it's still like held its shape. And yeah, I gotta, I, I, I gotta have this one. <laughs> The next few pads are definitely along the themes of pastel. You can kind of tell that in the first two, but this colour here is probably one of my favourite colours and it has been for a long time, like growing up. A baby pink has always been one of my top favourite colours and it still is to this day. I feel like everyone kind of goes through that phase where they're like, oh, I don't really like pink anymore. And then when you grow older, you're like, actually, I still love pink. Um, so this is the blush pink. This is a really old pad that I believe is now discontinued. I don't know what it is, but this pad, I feel like just looks so cute in the boys. Even though they are boys, I feel like boys can wear pink. And again, I have a lot of stuff in this pastely pink anyway, or blush pink. Um, so I just think, ooh, that rhymed then. I just, I just, this, the, I feel like I'm saying this for all of them and you're gonna be like, Esme, what are you on about? But a baby pink makes me feel really happy. This is a happy color. A lot of my house has got this sort of baby pink in as well. And I feel like it kind of goes with the theme of the channel. You know, it's similar to my Esme with Lemure collection, which I was gonna add to this, but I feel like that's cheating. You guys know that's one of my favorites. And when anybody asks me at my meet and greets what my favorite saddle pad is, I feel like bad if I say like the one I designed. <laughs> so I say like out of the Lemure colors, not including my own, I'll say like my favorite, but yeah, this color pink. I love it. It just makes me happy. And also, it matches Mickey's nose. Not that Mickey is red anymore, but it goes with his little pink nose. After that, I have gone for the new mist. This colour makes me almost think of a pearl, especially in the Loire, because it's so shiny. And I feel like you can't go wrong with a baby blue. Like, mist will literally go with any coloured horse. And with my greys as well, I feel like a blue on a grey looks really nice. It really pops on them. I feel like this colour is very smart and very professional. And if you have a lot of stuff that's in navy, that would also go really well. So if you wanted to maybe turn down your tone down your style a little bit or tone down the colour and look a little bit more professional for like, I don't know, a clinic or a lesson, I feel like this is a really nice colour to go for. And it is a pastel colour, but it is, it's, it's pretty. It looks smart. I feel like this is just a, a very much like a go-to pad you can't go wrong with. Last but not least, this probably is my new favourite saddle pad and that is the Wisteria. Now again, I know for ages I've said that the Blue Bell or the Blue Brie has been my favourite, but this pad is just a little bit more, it's got a little bit more pinky tones in, it's got a little bit more, it's a little bit more pastel and I have been dreaming for so many years for Lemur to do a saddle pad in this colour because this sort of colour lilac has been my favourite colour for quite a while. I feel like I said that with a lot of colours but I feel like my favourite colour kind of changes but lilac has always been there. Like when I was, like, I, think, I think I was like eight or nine, I had a lilac bedroom like this colour. It, I feel like if Mickey wasn't a gelding and I didn't buy all his stuff blue to match his blue eyes, when I first got a pony I feel like this would have been the colour I would have had all my stuff in. Um, but I feel like lilac is a very like rare colour. Like if I go out and want to buy something in lilac, it's really tricky to find it. So I feel like it's got to be in there because it is a colour that not many people wear with horses, I don't think, or not just many people wear in general. I don't know why, because I feel like it's not really a colour that cl clashes or like looks bad on many colour horses. I feel like this could go with most horses, to be honest, but 
I know some people might say lilac's a girly colour, but Casper's colour kind of is purple anyway, and I had to have another purple in there, and I just think lilac, this, sorry, wisteria, I keep calling it a lilac, but it's a shade of lilac, but wisteria here, it's just so pretty. My house has wisteria on as well, the cottage has wisteria on. Hopefully that does come out because we think the wisteria on the cottage might have died in the drought in the summer, so that is quite sad, but I've seen pictures of it with wisteria on, but. But there we have it, wisteria. This is my official at the moment because it might change, Lemire might have more colours coming out in the next couple of seasons and it might be a new favourite coming but at the moment I've got to say I think Wisteria is my number one favourite pad. That's saying something because there's over a hundred. So anyway, that actually I'll show you what my little spring summer little collection looks like. This is kind of like when people do a capsule wardrobe. My top five the spring summer is there, am I missing one? Oh, I've dropped mist. There we go. Sorry, mist. Mist fell out there. But look at all these colours together. Don't they just look really pretty? This looks like Easter to me. It looks like spring. It looks like sunny days, happy days, summer, ice cream, riding on the beach. Like These colours all together just look so pretty. They make me so happy. That is my top 10 favourite saddle pads at the moment. It will probably change as things go on or seasons, but I think they're my official top 10 colours. It has been a struggle. It has taken a while for me to finally add these together, put them together as a top 10, but there we go. Wisteria as my number one, and then I think for the autumn winter kind of colours, oak is my number one. But overall, Wisteria is my favourite. So anyway, everybody, I really hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments what your favorite color is. I feel like, I feel like, I don't know what it is. Some people, if you have like a favorite color and that has been your favorite color your whole life, well done to you because I feel like my favorite color has changed so much. There have definitely been some standout ones. Like I love a dark green. I love a lilac. I love a baby pink. And like a baby blue and a mint. And then the list goes on. But those sort of colors have always kind of been up there in my favorites so there we go thank you so much for watching today's video please comment and tell me off for having too many saddle pads because nobody needs over 100 nobody needs over 100 but anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all next time bye